Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name's Steve, that's Howie, and today we're in the South Downs National Park, um, onto the far west side of it, just above Fairham uh, in Hampshire. I decided to come here today just for the simple fact that it's just a beach forest. Absolutely stunning it is, as you can see behind me, we have just got an explosion of colours going on down here. Normally I come here in the spring, uh, for bluebells, which is really good because obviously bluebells and beech trees go well together. But I decided to come here. I come here. I come here every uh, autumn because I know it's just going to be an absolutely fantastic show of colour down here. So there's a lot of pathways down here. So maybe I'll be able to get some leading line shots, and hopefully I can get some really good images. Hope so. See you in a minute. Right, it hasn't taken me very long to find my first composition of the day. Just walked down the pathway, found exactly what I was after. Uh, leading line with uh, beech trees either side. Let me just talk you through the composition. So we've got the pathway that leads through the middle. And it's got a bit of a squiggle in it, which is quite nice. It gives it a little bit more character. We've got the beech trees to the left and to the right. And we've got this first beech tree. We've got a lovely curve going on just over the top to give it a little bit of a vignette shall we say um, the reason I chose this one is because in the far distance all the leaves are green so we've got a great separation between the orange leaves on the beech trees in the foreground and as it as the photograph goes further back it turns to green so we've got a great separation between the colors of the leaves um, when it comes to editing this I'm going to make sure that there's a muddy pathway just in front before the first beech tree. I'm just going to try and dull that down a bit or possibly not even get that in the image. Um, I think that's about it. Let me just talk you through the settings. Right, to me this looks more of an airy type of picture. Nice, light, colourful picture as opposed to dark and moody. So I'll be shooting with my polarizer on just to make the leaves really stand out and pop. I'll be shooting one second, F11, getting nice sharpness from foreground to the background, ISO 100. I've got a three second timer. I am gonna make sure that we are, yep, we're shooting at 15 mil, and that's about as sharp as I can get it for that. So that's a manual focus. And there we go. So, first image in the bag, on to my next one. Just walked up this little path, got a slight hill going on, shall we say. And let me just talk you through this. So we've got a lovely S curve going on, just at the bottom of the hill there. And as the further we come up, we've got a nice anchor point on this side, for the right hand side. And on the left hand side, we've got this tree here. So if I get it about there or so, there's a tree that's just behind the one on the right hand side but we're going to hide that away just if we get the right angle so we've got left hand side the right hand side to anchor the picture on the sides and we've got one at the very bottom there which has got the s curve going on just at the bottom of the hill there so if i walk back a little bit further so to frame the picture in the foreground we've got this tiny little tree just about here and we've got this branch just sticking out of the top so we've got a top level a bottom level a left and a right so i'll just walk back a bit more and then i'll show you what it looks like on the back of the camera darken it down to start with just so you can see what i'm talking about so i'm going to be focusing on the first tree on the left hand side and uh, then we've got the right hand side one like i say we've got the tree branch at the top and we've got this little tiny tree at the bottom there and dead in the center we've got the tree at the bottom of the hill and we have got a lovely s that curves around 
just at the bottom there. Let me just. Oh, sorry about that. Motorbikes out on a Sunday morning. And we are going to go for about 1.6 of a second. F14, ISO 100. Sorry about the traffic noise, there's going to be a few cars. We're just on the edge of the, the main road here, so you have to just bear with me. But as I was walking down from one path to another, I've just come across an absolute peach of a picture. I'll just swing around behind you and show you. We've got this lovely beech tree. It's basically just gone absolutely orange or yellow as you like. And all the surrounding area around it is just green. So we've got a fir tree over to the right hand side. We've got a beech tree, which is still green to the left hand side. And we've got these lovely trunks from the pines that just make a real deep moody picture. I was going to do quite a lot of airy pictures and nice vibrant pictures today but this one just screams out dark and moody. I'd say it's all on its own but nothing else around it really and it just, it just sits so well against those two pines at the back there. So what I'll do is if I further I come out I'm going to try and get the first fir, first fir tree, the second one of the three. So we've got three in a line going that way. And then all we've got in the middle is this absolutely beautiful young tree that's turning to autumn colors. That should come out really well. I'll just take you back to the camera and I'll walk you through some of the settings. Right, so this particular image we're on half a second f 5.6 i want to blur as much of the background out as possible and the only real thing of the subject is the main tree with all the beautiful colors on it all those cars whizzing by i hope i don't take a picture with them in it um, i'd like to use the three trees because uh, odd numbers are a lot better than even numbers and it gives a lot of strength to the image i think and then we've got the, just the explosion of color right in the middle um, I say 100, like I say, we're shooting it about 60 mil on this. Um, I've already manually focused this. Three second timer. So this woodland just keeps surprising me and surprising me. Only walked about, what, 50 foot from my last image and look what I've just come across. Absolutely beautiful woodland here. The colors are just amazing. So what I've decided to do is just take a picture, not anything in particular. It's just gonna be all about straight lines of all the beech trees and just the explosion of color on this one. As you can see, there isn't really a composition to be had. It's just mainly 
nice straight uniform lines. I try to get all the trees so none of them are behind other ones. We make sure that each tree, if I can, is all separated out. And then it's just about all the explosion of all the color, as far as you can see. Absolutely fantastic. On this particular image, I'll probably be shooting, well, I've already set it up. So it's about four seconds. Oh, sorry about the cars. It's about four seconds or so exposure on that. And I'll be shooting at F14. So we get a nice long depth of field on that. I'll uh, pop it up for you now. Right, I think I'll call it a day. Now I think of all the images I wanted to today, um, I was really happy with the colours. Um, we've still got a little bit of colour to go in this particular woodland as well. We've still got some greens as you can see behind me. So we've probably got another week or two before all the leaves fall off. Very happy about that. So uh, I'll definitely be coming back here again. I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.